Hi everyone, James here from F9 Audio and welcome to this video where I will be showing you exactly how to install the F9 Grid Trilogy for Logic Pro X. First of all, please download every single file that is on the Send Out webpage list that you have access to either at the end of checkout or via a link on the delivery email from F9. Please note that this release arrives as a number of RAR files, three for the standard edition and four for the deluxe version. We never recommend that you download any more than two parts at once, and it always pays to avoid streaming video or TV whilst you are downloading large files, particularly if your internet speed is not so good or that you know it can drop out occasionally. We only recommend one app for decompressing these RAR files. It's called the Unarchiver, and it's now under the stable of MacPore software. A link to it can be found in the PDF that is part of your download list. We only recommend that you install the Unarchiver using the Mac App Store, so please click on this button on the actual web page. Okay, so the next part is very important. Make sure all of the downloaded RAR files are on the same directory or in the same folder. Here I've actually just got them on the desktop because it's nice and easy for me to show you. Now I'm going to find part one, and you can see that I've got it highlighted here. And I'm going to control click or right click if you have your second mouse button activated. And I'm going to head to the open with option on the contextual menu that appears and then select the unarchiver. Now you may have other RAR decompressing utilities actually available on your system. And this will 100% make sure that you are using exactly the right one. So the unarchiver is now going to work away and actually decompress these files. Now please note, it is going to automatically add the contents of the other parts. You do not ever need to touch these other parts. You just need to make sure they're all in the right location in the same part of the filing system and they will automatically be added during decompression. The RAR decompression will result in either one or three Mac format zip files depending on the version of your purchase. And before you go any further, please, we implore all of you, back these zip files up immediately. This is a template-based release, and you may save over them in the future by mistake or wish to return the projects to their original state. Or you may wish to install this on a new computer in the future. Having the zip files at easy reach is the quickest and easiest way to do that and will save you going through another enormous download again. The zip file we need to install here is the one called Grid Trilogy for Logic Pro X. And you see I've got it highlighted here and it's got its version number at the end. I'm going to right click or control click again and select the inbuilt Mac OS X archive utility. And as you can see, my Mac is defaulting to that. Once again, please do not use any other zip utility to decompress this file. Only use the built in tools here. So now here's our master folder. You can see it's got nice custom icons on it and there is a manual. Please make sure that you read this. It will tell you an awful lot about uh, the actual contents of this pack, as well as giving you written instructions for what we're about to show you now. So the folders we're gonna install are these, the ESX24 folder, the impulse responses, and this, the grid trilogy patches. So I'm just gonna move this folder out the way now. Now I'm gonna open the main Mac hard drive we're going to open the library folder. Inside of that, we're gonna open the audio folder and you will see an impulse responses folder inside. Now, if you don't actually see this impulse responses folder, quickly open Logic and go to the sound manager. You'll find that in the contextual menus at the top. Here we go, sound library, open sound library manager and make sure that you have the reverb buttons checked there and then install that content. That should actually create that folder inside the filing system if it's not already there. And this is particularly common on new Macs. So now I'm just gonna come back over to our grid trilogy folder, pick up the grid impulse responses folder that's got a blue icon, drop it into there, impulse responses, the folder we found earlier on. Now, please note, with all of these folders, we are going to be moving them into place. We're not going to be copying. There's a very good reason. Logic uses Spotlight to actually find its audio files for a variety of different functions. And if there are duplicates of the audio data, you can get nag screens coming up telling you that it's found these duplicates. So to avoid all of that, we're gonna move these things into position. But it's also another reason why we're saying to all of you, please back up these zip files. So now for the fun stuff, let's install this sound library. So once again, I'm gonna open the main Mac HD. I'm gonna open the users folder and I'm gonna open my actual main user account. Inside that, we're gonna look for the music folder. Inside there, this magic folder, audio music apps. This is where we install all Logic third-party content. 
So we're going to double click that and you'll see we've got a whole series of uh, different folders inside. First one is the most important. This is where the sound library goes. So I'm going to select it so you can see it, sampler instruments. Then I'm going to come over to our grid trilogy folder, pick up the ESX24 folder and dump the whole thing inside sampler instruments. Once again, we are moving, we are not copying. Then I want you to have a look at this folder a bit further up where it says patches. We're going to double click that. And this is the folder we're after, the instrument folder. You may also notice folders labeled things like buses, auxiliaries and master as well. But it's this instrument folder we're after. So now I'm going to come over to our grid trilogy folder and I'm going to pick up the F9 grid trilogy patches and drop them inside the instrument folder. Now, please note they must go inside. So we're just going to double check by double clicking the instrument folder. There they are inside. If they sit outside, they will not be actually picked up by logic correctly. So everything is now installed and you may now place the remainder of this folder anywhere you like in your filing system. Let's open one of the projects. Now, one thing I must say is if you've done this with Logic open, please reboot Logic because Logic will need to see all of the ESX24 instruments we've just installed. So I'm going to open the Escape from Tokyo project. So here it is. Everything has loaded up. All of the instruments have been found and it's all ready for playback. <laughs> So now let me show you how to access those sound in your own projects. I'm going to click on the plus symbol here and add a software instrument. I'm going to make sure open library is checked. Create that instrument. The library will automatically open. We can go into user patches and the grid trilogy patches. And there you'll see all of the individual patches available. Grid art patches, basses, bells and plucks, drum kits, drum designers, drum menus, etc, etc. So let's just load one of the patches straight up. I'm going to go to basses and just go for the first option, JX Critical Bass. You, it will load simply by clicking it. So I'm just going to turn on this information icon, which will show you the channel strip, and you'll see that it is already there and ready to go. It will load incredibly quickly because it's using ESX24, and it doesn't need a third-party plugins to actually instigate. It's all using built-in logic resources. To access the smart controls, come up and press the smart control button here, and you will find a series of controls carefully tailored to the actual sound's needs. Now, just one little troubleshooting note. We have noticed on some of the more recent operating systems, sometimes when you're loading the projects or you're loading the instruments, you get these kind of messages saying that the EXS24 files have not been found, even though you know you've got them installed in the correct place. This is because of a little bug that's happening in the uh, more recent operating systems, including High Sierra, Moave, et cetera, et cetera. And it's all down to Spotlight. Logic uses Spotlight to actually find its files, and sometimes the database can go wrong. And yes, that's exactly what we're saying. Sometimes Logic can simply not see the files as it boots, even though they're there. Here is the very simple fix. Open your system preferences, click on the Spotlight icon. You want the Privacy section, and then you come down to this little plus box here, and then where it says my account name here, we're going to go and select the main actual system drive. Now, if you can't find that, just come back to your actual computer and then select the main system drive. We're going to choose that. So that's basically saying it's going to stop Spotlight actually searching the main drive. Now, I'm simply just going to remove it from the list again. So it's just a case of toggling it into that list and turning it off. This actually forces Spotlight to re-index that disk, and it has solved every single one of these problems that we've come across. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this short video. If you have any questions, don't forget to reach us at info at f9-audio.com. Thanks for watching, and we really hope you enjoy this release. We absolutely love it here at the studio. All the very best from Brighton, and we'll see you next time.